Hey, how's it going? This is Ty. This is probably my favorite uh, way to get free traffic, and it's to email your past campaigns. It's pretty simple to do. But first, you have to have past campaigns. So you have to have, we'll call it made sales or had some sort of success. And this feature is inside of the Teespring Campaign Manager, and you'll see it. Well, I'll show you a screenshot, but you'll see it right underneath uh, your campaign. This works great in a niche that you work in over and over and over. So say you work in knitting and you've ran a thousand campaigns in knitting and sold thousands of shirts. This will work so good for you. It's unbelievable. So it's kind of one of those things. The more success you have, the more success you will have. So let's look at it. Here's a shot of, uh, I guess, how you click and, and get into it, but it just says message buyers. Click on that, and then it'll pull up just a simple email form. You put in a from address. I never use my personal address. I use one that's off of a website that I use, you know, a website that I own, kind of a separate mail account. So in case these people have questions or whatever, I can kind of track it and it doesn't go directly to my personal email. I never really put a name in. I put a subject in there and, uh, you know, an email. And then all you do is click send email to buyers. So what do I write in the email? It's I really like to say something to the effect of, hey, thanks for supporting us in the past. Here's a shirt you may like. Now, again, if you're working in a niche over and over, that's going to make perfect sense. So you wouldn't want to cross niches using this feature. It's just, you know, so if you're making knitting shirts over and over, you're going to want to mail knitting shirt buyers over and over. <coughs> the cool thing about this is these people are truly buyers. Uh, which is a wholly different type of email list. So after you hit send, it goes to an approval queue inside of Teespring and sits there. And it sits in teleapproval, and this can kind of be some odd times for email marketing. You know, like the best emails in the universe are about, you know, like 7 a.m. for open rates, because that's when people open their email after they get up in the morning. Shirt sales, though, I have found happen more at night, you know, after 5 p.m. Well, Teespring, they usually approve these you know, when they're at work, so it could be anywhere from like 9 to 5 or something like that, Eastern time. So what I like to do is whenever I have these set up, I just hit up my rep and say, hey, can you go in and improve, approve these so they, they get sent out? And I just tell them if they're active or past campaign, so that must be some split inside their system or they've asked me that before. So is it an active campaign that you're mailing out on or is it a past campaign? 99% of the time I do past campaigns. And then uh, just the email that you used, let me go back, the email that you put right here, that email, let them know that so then they can search inside their system and find them and let them rip. So here's a look at, Hopefully you can see this too. Here's a look at some different conversion rates and a few things going on. So this is two separate campaigns. Here's 40 total views. So 40 people opened the email or clicked on it, we'll say, and six of them bought. So a conversion rate of 15%. That's out of control. Here's another one, and I'm using different variables here so you can see I've what do my uh, Facebook page posts and uh, groups get? You know, ignore that. This is the line right here, this email line. 90 views, so 90 people clicked on the link, 17 purchased for a conversion rate of 13%. So that should tell you all you need to know whether this strategy is worth your time or not. It absolutely is. There's no question. Even if you're getting one or two extra sales, it's so simple. I just keep an email template in a text file and I cut and paste and put the new link in and boom, there you go. Uh, like I said, the more success you have, the more useful this will be over time. And it's just kind of like a snowball, right? So the more people you can email, the better it's going to be. That's it. If you have any questions, hit me up. See ya.